I have the honor this morning of introducing your uh, morning speaker, Rourke C. Sizemore, uh, a 2015 alumni of Mountaineer Boys State and a 2016 graduate of Morgantown High School. He attends uh, West Virginia University as a Buckland Scholar, Milan Pushkar Leadership Scholar, an honor student, and is the recipient of the George W. Budd Seaver Public Affairs Award and the Delenn Scholarship. Rourke Sizemore serves as the WVU Student Government Senator President, and he is deeply devoted to ending childhood hunger and bringing opportunities to those living in poverty. He's the founder and president of the Pantry Plus More, a 501c3 charity that he started while he was a senior in high school, with eight in-school pantries and two more scheduled to open. Mr. Sizemore also co-sponsors monthly mobile food giveaways with the Mountaineer Food Bank, bringing 12 to 15,000 pounds of fresh produce and meat every month to different regions of the country. In his spare time, he is also the co-president of Be The Match on campus, a group that provides information and collects swabs for joining the registry of potential bone marrow donations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Rourke C. Sizemore. Hi guys. Um, I was on the other end of this, uh, so I won't be too long. I'll keep it brief. Um, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what Boy State means uh, after you leave here. Um, for me, uh, I was in Randolph uh, Cabin. We were out in the woods. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I had pretty, pretty big hopes when I came here, right? Uh, I knew I was going to run for governor. And uh, when I got here, I ran for governor, and I lost in the primary uh, pretty, pretty easily. Uh, I don't think I did very well in the election, and uh, I ended up as a county commissioner, right? Uh, and you know, I was a little disappointed with that. Um, I, I, you know, for some reason in my head, I didn't have it. Uh, you know, I didn't know why it was important. I didn't get it. But the reason why you're going through this, the reason why you're in these positions, is Boy State is trying to teach you to be active citizens and to know what that actually means. And for me, what active citizenship means, it's more than just running for office. It's more than just being in government. It's going back to your communities and making a difference. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter if it's running for office, whether it's getting involved in local government, or whether it's doing something on your own. Being an active citizen means if you see a problem in your community, then you go and fix that problem, right? So I'm going to tell you my story and how I did that and how I took that kind of message from Boy State and made it into something. Uh, so in my senior year of high school, uh, I was in a class called Mentorship. And what you had to do for this class was you had to find somebody in the community to work with and you had to carry out a project. And there were no limitations on it. Uh, so what did I do? I found my county commissioner. Uh, I was a county commissioner at Boy State so I hooked up with my local county commissioner, and uh, we decided on this project uh, called the Pantry Plus Mall. And what it is, is it puts pantries, the idea, uh, to carry food, non-perishable food items, uh, inside schools. And so uh, the idea was to fight food insecurity uh, where we knew kids would be, at schools. Um, and so the problem of food insecurity is a relatively large one, especially in West Virginia. One in five kids are food insecure in West Virginia. That's a staggering number. That's 76,000 children are hungry every day in West Virginia. 76,000 kids. That's an awful problem. That's a problem that should not happen in America, right? And in my county alone, there are 2,600 kids that are hungry every day. And so we started with a dream, with this idea, uh, with no money as a high school senior, uh, that we could feed people, right? And today, now we're in eight schools, two more to open, we're feeding 1,100 kids a month. Uh, and our pantries have uh, food, clothing, school supplies, and hygiene products. Uh, we had whole groups of kids missing school because they didn't have soap, uh, because they didn't have clean clothes. Uh, and that's ridiculous to me. So, what I wanna say is that you don't need to be successful all the time. You don't need to, uh, reach your dream at every place. You don't need to be governor at Boy State or governor at this or president of this. Um, you can make a difference, right? 
Uh, I didn't have any special skills when I knew that I wanted to change something. I saw a problem within my community. I saw that there were hungry kids at school and that that was stopping them from having futures, right? And I put some work in and I made a difference, right? And you guys can all do the very same thing. It doesn't have to be starting a charity. It doesn't have to be something big. It could be something small. But that's how community starts. That's how active citizenship is. Uh, and that's the foundation of this country. When there are problems we see in our communities, you make a difference. Uh, there's something really simple, this idea that, that I think I try to live by. Um, and it's, if you have the capacity to help, you should help. It's as simple as that. Uh, it, it really is. And so, I really just want to emphasize that, that this Boy State thing is more than just uh, a summer camp that you come to. Uh, you guys are from all across West Virginia. Uh, you are the future of West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia is my home, and it, it's a place I love. Uh, but if we're honest about it, we have more problems than you can count. And so there's a lot of work that you guys can jump into right away uh, in so many different areas. But the buck has to stop somewhere, right? We have to be off the bottom of every list, right? And that starts with you guys. And that's a lot to put on somebody, but that's the situation West Virginia is in, right? It's, uh, it's not great. And so the future of West Virginia is really on your guys' back. And there's no reason you can't start now. There's uh, an Anne Frank quote, and I'm sure I'll uh, butcher this, uh, but it goes something like this, and it's, uh, isn't it wonderful that you need not wait a day to make the world a better place? And that really is true. There's no special skills you need. There's no age limit. You can get involved right now. There's no age limit for a lot of the, the very positions you have at Boy State back in your communities. Run for office. Get involved. Make a difference. These are things that are right at your fingertips. So please take home these lessons at Boy State. And uh, I hope you guys have the rest of a great week. Thank you so much. with us this morning. Uh, we'd like to present a certificate of appreciation to Mr. Sizemore. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have just a couple of announcements before we dismiss. Uh, the following citizens that are candidates for Boys Nation need to meet with Jim Davis on the front porch of the dining hall after breakfast. Josh Poe, uh, Jared Schleicher,